Hello everyone. Welcome back to Sally and Bytes. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of the Internet of Things, or IoT. Ever wondered how your smartwatch tracks your fitness or how your home's smart lights know when to turn on? That's all thanks to IoT. Let's explore what IoT is, how it works, and the incredible ways it's shaping our future. Let's break Internet of Things, IoT, into two parts, Internet and Things to make it simpler to understand. Internet The Internet is the interconnection of networks, allowing devices globally to communicate and share data. So, what is interconnection of networks? A network is a group of devices, like computers, phones, servers, that are connected to share information. Networks connect within a limited area, like your home or office Wi-Fi network. A Wi-Fi network is a wireless communication system that uses radio waves to connect devices to the Internet or each other within a specific range, without physical cables. Interconnection happens when these smaller networks join together using routers, switches and global infrastructure. A router is a networking device that connects different networks, like your home network to the Internet, and directs data between them choosing the best path for the data to travel. A switch is a device that connects computers and other devices in a network and sends data only to the device it's meant for, making the network faster and more organized. The Internet is a global network that connects billions of devices, computers, and servers across the world, enabling seamless communication, data sharing, and the exchange of information by linking multiple networks together. For example, Think of each network as an island. The Internet is like a system of bridges connecting all these islands, enabling the people on them, devices, to communicate and share resources. This interconnection makes everything from sending emails to streaming videos possible. The Internet is a global network of networks. It uses the TCP, IP protocols to allow computers to communicate with each other. TCP, Transmission Control Protocol is responsible for breaking data into smaller packets, sending them, and reassembling them at the destination. It ensures reliable communication between devices. IP, Internet Protocol, handles the addressing and routing of packets so they reach the correct destination on a network. Together, TCP, IP is the foundation of how data is sent and received over the Internet. The Internet is the name for the infrastructure and hardware. It should not be confused with the World Wide Web. The World Wide Web, WWW, is a collection of files held on web servers that are connected by hypertext. The server then uses HTTP, Hypertext Transfer Protocol, to send requested web pages to users. Certain devices, such as smartphones, tablets, and computers, can connect to the Internet to share and receive information. Now imagine what if our bulbs, fans, beds and refrigerator also became a part of this network. How will they communicate with each other, and what will they communicate? That's exactly what the things in IoT are all about. Things in IoT refers to physical objects that are connected to the Internet. These objects could be anything from household items to industrial machines. Combining Internet plus Things equals Internet of Things, IoT. When we connect these things to the Internet, they can talk to each other and share data without human involvement. This is the Internet of Things. IoT refers to the physical devices that wirelessly connect to the Internet and other networks to receive and exchange data with each other without any human intervention. What makes the things special is that they are equipped with sensors, software, and other technologies to collect and share data. They can sense their surroundings or perform specific tasks. IoT enables automation, smarter decision-making, and better efficiency in various activities. IoT devices are programmed for certain applications and can be embedded into other IoT devices and use their wireless connections to store, receive and share data. Here, embedded means that IoT devices can be integrated into other devices or systems. For example, an IoT sensor might be installed within a refrigerator to monitor temperature, or a smart chip might be embedded in a wearable device like a smartwatch. 
This integration allows the IoT devices to perform their specific functions as part of a larger system while using wireless connections to share data. Imagine this, your smart refrigerator notices you're out of milk, and it orders more online. That's IoT in action. The user can operate these devices and gets access to information about these gadgets by the click of a button on their phones using mobile applications. This is all made possible by just one technology, the Internet of Things. Let's explore the technologies behind the Internet of Things. Sensors. Sensors are devices that measure physical or environmental conditions and convert them into electrical signals. Additionally, these signals can then be transmitted to other devices or systems. Sensors are essential for the IoT, as they provide the data that allows IoT devices to make decisions and take action. Communication protocols. These are the rules that govern how devices communicate with each other and with the cloud. Some of the most common communication protocols for IoT devices include MQTT, message queuing telemetry transport, lightweight for real-time messaging, CoAP, constrained application protocol, optimized for constrained devices and HTTP, hypertext transfer protocol, widely used for web-based communication. Networking technologies allows IoT devices to connect to the Internet. There are a variety of networking technologies that can be used for IoT devices, including Wi-Fi, cellular, LPWAN, low-power wide-area networks such as Sigfox, LoRAWAN, long-range wide-area network, and NB-IoT, narrowband Internet of Things. These are low-power, long-range communication technologies designed for connecting IoT devices with minimal energy consumption. Cloud computing provides a platform for storing and processing data from IoT devices. Cloud computing is essential for the IoT, as it allows IoT devices to store and process large amounts of data without having to have their own dedicated hardware. Data analytics. This is the process of analyzing data to extract insights. Also, data analytics is essential for the IoT, as it allows businesses to gain insights from the data collected by IoT devices. IoT devices are most effective when they have an internet connection. However, IoT devices without an internet connection can still exchange data with immediate devices through local networks like Bluetooth. Let's see how Internet of Things work. Devices and Sensors IoT starts with devices like smartphones, thermostats, or even refrigerators. These devices often have sensors that can collect information like temperature, light, or motion. Data collection, the sensors in these devices collect data. For example, a smart thermostat collects the temperature of a room. Sending data, once the device collects the data, it sends this information through the internet. But the devices can't connect directly to the internet by themselves. This is where gateways come in. Gateways act like a bridge to send the data from the devices to the internet. The cloud, the data is then sent to the cloud, which is like a huge storage space on the internet. In the cloud, the data can be processed, analyzed, and stored for later use. Processing and analysis, once the data is in the cloud, powerful computers, called servers, process it to figure out what actions need to be taken. For example, if the smart thermostat senses that the room is too hot, the cloud might tell the thermostat to turn on the air conditioning. Taking action, the data can also be used for learning. Over time, the IoT system gets smarter by recognizing patterns in the data. For example, a smart light can learn when you usually turn it on or off and can start doing it automatically without you having to press the switch. Communication all these IoT devices communicate with each other and with the cloud to make the system work smoothly and automatically. In short, IoT devices collect data, send it to the cloud, and use that data to make decisions and improve over time. Let's explore how a smart car operates using IoT. Devices and sensors in a smart car A smart car is equipped with various IoT-enabled devices and sensors. These sensors can monitor speed, via speed sensors, fuel levels, engine performance, surroundings, via cameras and LiDAR sensors for autonomous driving, 
driver behavior, seatbelt usage, drowsiness detection, etc. These sensors constantly collect data to keep the car functioning efficiently and safely. Data collection. The sensors gather a wealth of information, such as road conditions through cameras and radar, traffic updates via GPS and communication with other vehicles, vehicle to vehicle, V2V, driver's habits, like frequent braking or preferred routes, sending data. The data collected by the sensors is sent to the cloud through a gateway. For instance, the car's communication system acts as the gateway, sending data over the internet. The cloud processes and stores this data. For example, the car's navigation system can process traffic data in real time and suggest the fastest route. Maintenance data, like engine performance, is stored in the cloud for analysis and can alert the driver about upcoming service needs. Processing and analysis. Once in the cloud, the data is analyzed to make the car smarter and more efficient. For instance, if the sensors detect nearby obstacles, the system can trigger automatic braking. If weather conditions change, the car can adjust its settings, like activating windshield wipers or switching to all-wheel drive. Taking action. IoT makes the car proactive. It can learn the driver's habits, like preferred seat adjustments or music playlists, and automatically set them up. Predictive maintenance alerts can notify the driver of potential issues before they become problems. Communication. A smart car doesn't work in isolation. It communicates with other vehicles to prevent collisions, traffic systems, for real-time updates on signals and congestion, home IoT devices, example, opening the garage door as the car approaches. Let's see an example in action. Imagine you're driving a smart car and it's a rainy day. Here's how IoT comes into play. Sensors detect the rain and turn on the windshield wipers automatically. Cameras and LiDAR scan the road to avoid hydroplaning and adjust the speed. Cloud data checks for traffic congestion due to weather and redirects your route. Communication systems inform nearby cars about slippery conditions. In summary, a smart car uses IoT to collect, process, and act on data in real time, ensuring a safer, smarter, and more efficient driving experience. Where are IoT devices found? Smart homes or home automation are a prime example of IoT in action. Smart devices at home can be controlled through a smartphone or voice assistant. In a regular day in our life, when you wake up with the automatic curtains and lighting in your room controlled by AI, your smart alarm wakes you up at the perfect time, presents the day's temperature and calendar events, integrating essential information into your morning routine. As you brew your morning coffee, your smart coffee maker adjusts the brewing parameters based on your past preferences. A smart refrigerator that tracks its contents and sends you a reminder when you're out of milk. A smart fan that adjusts its speed based on the temperature in the room. A smart watch that not only tells the time but also tracks your steps, monitors your heart rate, and sends this data to your phone for health insights. A smart thermostat is an advanced temperature control device that can be programmed, monitored, and controlled remotely using a smartphone, tablet, or computer. It uses sensors, Wi-Fi connectivity, and intelligent algorithms to optimize energy usage and maintain comfortable temperatures. It learns your temperature preferences over time and automatically adjusts settings to save energy. It lowers the heating when you're away from home and warms it up before you return. Smart lights are internet-connected lighting systems that can be controlled remotely, scheduled, and customized via a smartphone or voice commands. They often support features like dimming, color changes, be programmed to turn on or off based on your daily routine, and sync with music or movies to create a dynamic environment. Smart security systems are advanced home security setups that integrate devices like cameras, door locks, motion sensors, and alarms, which can be monitored and controlled remotely through apps. These systems often include real-time alerts and video surveillance. Smart Bed the Hiken Smart Bed offers a futuristic sleeping experience with features like a built-in entertainment system for watching movies or playing games. 
smart lighting that adjusts based on your mood or time of day, health tracking sensors that monitor sleep patterns, breathing, and heart rate, automation to connect with smart devices, like controlling room temperature or setting alarms. This smart home automation technology allows homeowners to save energy, increase security, and improve overall convenience. IoT improves healthcare through devices like fitness trackers or blood sugar monitors, measure heart rate, steps, and sleep patterns, monitor a patient's health remotely and alert healthcare providers in case of an emergency. Remote patient monitors, track a patient's vital signs and share them with doctors in real time. In agriculture, farms use IoT for better crop management. Soil sensors, monitor moisture levels to optimize irrigation. Drones, survey large fields for health assessments. In retail, IoT can be used to improve customer experiences. For example, a smart mirror in a clothing store can suggest outfits based on the customer's size and style preferences. Industries use IoT for automation and efficiency, such as Manufacturing, IoT sensors monitor machines and predict maintenance needs Logistics, GPS-enabled devices track shipments in real time Energy, smart meters optimize electricity usage In smart cities, IoT devices are shaping the cities of the future Traffic sensors reduce congestion by controlling traffic lights dynamically. Smart parking apps show you available parking spots. Waste management sensors in bins signal when they're full for efficient pickup. This is how IoT creates a seamless and intelligent environment where devices work together to make our lives easier, safer, and more efficient. Let's see about the challenges of IoT. Security IoT devices are often vulnerable to security attacks. Privacy The data collected by IoT devices can raise privacy concerns. Interoperability The different types of IoT devices often use different communication protocols and standards, which can make it difficult to integrate them into a single system. Cost The cost of IoT devices and the infrastructure required to support them can be a barrier to adoption. Hands-on projects let kids learn by doing. With easy-to-use kits like Arduino or Raspberry Pi, kids can create cool gadgets, like a light that turns on by itself or a device that shows the room's temperature. Arduino is a small board that acts like a mini-brain for gadgets, which you can program to control lights, motors, or sensors and is perfect for beginners. Raspberry Pi, on the other hand, is a tiny computer that works like a regular one, allowing you to do more advanced projects, like creating a smart home system. It's a fun and interactive way to explore how IoT works. Today, we explored the fascinating world of IoT, from smart homes to wearable devices. IoT is shaping the future, and who knows? Maybe you'll invent the next big IoT device. Thanks for watching! Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Sally and Bytes for more tech adventures. See you in the next video.